Hey everybody, welcome back to the workshop. In today's scroll saw project video, we're going to be making a dolphin sculpture. Now, the project calls for three quarter inch plywood for the dolphins and the backboard itself. And I've already got the pattern attached to the wood um, somewhat, just enough where we can go over to the bandsaw here in a second and cut the dolphins and the backboard into two separate pieces. And then I'll finish covering it with clear packing tape. And then we're going to get started. Starting over here on the bandsaw, we're basically cutting the piece of wood in half just to get two smaller pieces to work with and then we're going to bring the dolphin piece over to the drill press and drill all of our pilot holes for internal cutting over on the scroll saw and then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and actually start by cutting out the backer board which is one long continuous cut that's a curve and I wanted to go on and get this piece done and sanded so I could take it and paint it before we started scrolling out the dolphins here in a little bit over here to the palm sander and sand it up nice and smooth. And I'm going to be using just some acrylic craft paint. This nice um, blue turquoise looking color. And I'll be the first to say I am no painter. But I did want to paint the backboard for this project. I thought it would look nice. And right here I'm just painting the front and the sides of the piece. When this dries, I'll flip it over and come back and paint the back and do all the touch-up work. And while that's drying, we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling, starting with all of our internal cuts. As with most of my scroll saw projects, I'm using a number five reverse tooth shark tooth scroll saw blade. It cuts through three-quarter inch pine extremely well and extremely smooth and requires minimal sanding when done. If you guys would like to try this project, it is available as a free pattern download over at Steve Good's Scroll Saw Workshop.blogspot.com website over in the pattern catalog. And if you guys like what you see here, please like and share this video. And also, I would encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see all future uploads. Going through here, getting all the internal cutting done. I think it was between 10 or 12 inside cuts for this project, not very many, but the design is just beautiful. This is the final inside cut, and I did use a pilot hole to start the outside cut, which will release the piece from the wood, because the pieces here are going to be so thin, and this piece is going to be so fragile when it's done. Um, that I just opted to start with a pilot hole instead of starting on the outside and working my way in if that makes any sense. I hope it does. And right here you're going to see the drawback of using clear packing tape to attach scroll saw patterns with. Um, I've got a fan blowing on me. It was real hot out in the shop and you can see it blowing the pattern around right there. Um, you can use spray adhesive if you want to to attach your scroll saw patterns. I just like using the clear packing tape for easier cleanup and it's quicker to get the pattern off and move on to the next step. And I'm used to the fan blowing the pattern around by now. Finishing up here on cut and we're going to take it over to the workbench, peel the pattern off and remove the piece from the wood. And again this piece is very fragile. I opted to sand this by hand with a piece of sandpaper and you can see me using my hand there to support the piece. I did not want to break it. And 
and I put a paper towel down on the workbench to protect the backboard um, to keep it nice and clean while gluing it up and I'm just using Gorilla Wood glue here and attaching the dolphins to the backboard with some spring clamps and I let this dry a few hours and then I came back and removed the clamps and I took the piece outside and applied a few coats of spray polyurethane and let that dry and the project was completed. And here we have the completed scroll saw dolphin sculpture made out of three quarter inch pine shelving board. I think it turned out real good. It doesn't take long to make and complete. You can get this project done in a day or maybe even a weekend if you're in and out of your shop. I think it turned out real good. Now you don't have to paint the backboard like I did. It was just something I wanted to do because I have other pieces I've done in the house. This this color blue and I think it turned out real good and it really made the natural color of the pine pop. I would actually like to see this project made again and maybe the backboard stained a light color and then the dolphin stained a darker color that would look good if you wanted a more natural look to the wood but here it is again I think it turned out real good I like it that is about all for this video remember guys if I can make it so can you always step out in your shop and challenge yourself to new and unique projects I will have one of my older videos floating up in this corner and the subscribe button floating in this corner. Until next time, guys, I'm the Artisan Pirate, and I'll see you real soon.